phone on for you, cool? Yeah, man. Live. There you are. Yeah, we're there rinse, man. Yeah, just finish the set and that. Stay fresh. Myself, represent no jeans. Yeah. Man, them still in bed and all that hype. Next thing, obviously, man, just come from a show, Manchester. Long. Didn't even have time to do much. I had to go to hotel and then bounce quick, like, no sleep once. Yeah. Had to go home now. What but been going on, though, man? You know what? Recently, I've just been doing better shows, you know. I haven't even had time to do much, but i um, been in the studio every now and then with Black Team, back to doing a CD. Looking to, like, just smash the world with this one still. Like, I, think it, I think it already tops money over everyone, obviously. I rate that CD a lot, and I think this one's even better than that, because I'm putting proper money into it. Yeah. Um, during the day yesterday, shot a video for one of our tunes, Madness. What's that? Madness? by Rukid, yeah, man. It was proper, the video was mad, like, imagine man had, man was in an abandoned bank, fam. Like, a proper, abandoned bank? Yeah, like, it was nuts. Man was all in the vault, and uh, sick still, mad dancers, looking nuts. Yeah, there ain't too many people doing grand videos with red cam, you get me? Mm. But, yeah. well, you gotta put the P, you gotta put the P down, innit? You gotta put the P down. Well, put obviously, the P that's down. what I'm saying, that's, what, that's the level I'm trying to take it to this year. I'm trying to say, obviously, if you put money in, put money, yeah, man, you get money out. Like, that's what I'm doing this year. Mm. Put your money in, and obviously, like, it's paying off, man. It's paying mm. off right now, you get me? So talk to me about Dobstep, man. Like, obviously, I've seen you around, a couple, yeah. couple of the Goonies raves. Yeah, People are there going nuts, see, yeah? Yeah, Dobstep. Yeah. Kicking. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, flipping. Yeah, Dobstep kicking off. But as anyone that thinks oh, I've just jumped in it, it's air, because if you go to my first mixtape, yeah, my intro tune is a Dobstep tune. And no one can chat to me about Dobstep and jump in on it, you know what I'm saying? Even even on my my like a free download I done like a couple months after that I had like two dubstep tunes on it and no one could chat to me and that was over five five six years ago so no one could talk to me five about, six years ago yeah no one could talk to me about just jumping on dubstep I'm not hearing that obviously the recent tunes I've done on dubstep they've just made it made an impact in it mm. ain't my fault just made an impact get me but nah dubstep obviously you know what it is there's, it's a different vibe. They're more like vibing, they listen, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Gram is more hype, so there's less gram raves. Everyone's scared to do a gram rave. So, so why, why, why did you get such a, a, a great response from the dubstep fans? Obviously, I've been listening from when I was like 17. Like, I was going forward, that it's a well known dubstep rave, isn't it? I was going there from when I was 17. So I understand it more. Like I, I know how to do certain things over the beat for everyone to listen to. Obviously, dubstep music is more of a listening thing, innit? You can't just go over it, ah, ah, just spraying over the tune. You ain't giving the tune no room to breathe. It's air, they don't want to hear that. So you gotta, you gotta learn, you gotta understand the music to be able to spit over it properly. Mm. And I guess I just do that, innit? So they like it. You know what I'm saying, kind of like host. It's like you host the tune. You don't actually. Spray all over it. You host the tune. Give the get. Make, it's the tune's gonna be sick no matter what. You can just vibe to the bass. Mm. You know what I'm saying so. You just gotta give it a bit of justice. And nice. So how did you link up with Sook Knight? Sook Knight. Um, I know about him from time ago. Still, one of my brethren was in his crew and that. And like, when used to talk to him. And um, when he made left the room instrumental, I just woke with it. I was like, yeah, like, what are you saying about this? And obviously, it just popped off. That mm. was like. I was like one of the first dubstep ones that proper started kicking off. You know, I mean? linked up like that. Plus, I know his, I know his manager. And that. Yeah, yeah, man. A lot of the, a lot of the producers I work with, I've known for ages. It's not like, oh, you're a producer, you're good. I'm an MC, I'm good. Let's mm. work. I've actually like known them like Rude Kid. I've known from like 17, 18. Mm. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, man. What's the um? I've been in the raves when Left the Rooms come on, yeah, mm. and I've seen some madness. <laughs> happened to that track. What's the, like the, the the most kind of wild event that you've ever performed left the room at? It probably was Goonies. Goonies. Yeah. Birmingham, so it probably was that. And you was filming that. So <laughs> it probably was that. But no, nah, do you know what actually? No, nah, last week I was in Leeds, yeah, and I was I was performing left the room, yeah, and the music cut. But when a fire alarm went off, when a fire alarm goes off, yeah, everything stops, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But imagine they were still singing a tune for a good extra. 16. They was they were saying, Pete, I beat the tune for another 16. Yeah. Like, I weren't saying nothing. The mic's cut. Everything's cut off. Like there's footage on the net somewhere. Still, it's, it's, it was recent. I done it last week, so it should, it should be on the net. I'll probably post it on my Facebook today. But yeah, man. That 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 rave or Goonies still. Goonies was more vibe, but that one. It's like the music cut and they're just spraying on 16. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not even doing anything. I had to look at the camera like. Are you seeing what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a good look, man. Definitely. Yeah, man. So talk to me about Sweet Shop as well. Talk yeah. about madness tunes. How did that one come about? Um, Sweet Shop. Uh, how did that come? Obviously, it's a big instrumental. Everyone mm -hmm. knows that. It's one of the biggest dubstep instrumentals. Um, 
I cooked. Obviously, there ain't a vocal for it, innit? So I thought, obviously, I ain't gonna be one of them guys that just vocal a tune and give it out. Yeah. Like, that's, you, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna go nowhere like that. So obviously, I've done what I did on it, sent it to the producer and said, like, what do you think? Like, let me know. If you like this, then we can change it up a bit and do something. So he liked it. We changed the layout a bit. Sweet Shot came about, man. And then ever since then, I've just built a good relationship with him and his manager and his label and that, because Flux Pavilion's also on Dr. P's label. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're on the same label. And they have sick producers. And now, since then, we've got a good ongoing relationship. Man's just, you know, doing tunes now. Got more stuff to come out with them as well, man. But so, is, is that getting a release? Your vocal of Sweet Shop? Or is yeah, it just something that's probably. Oh. Out already, still, yeah, man. Just tell out. the people no, where they can get that yeah, from. Yeah, I get that on iTunes. iTunes. Type in Sweet Shop, P Money Vocal, or just come follow me. Type that in. Mm. There, man. Comes up. Even if you just type in P Money iTunes, everything, everything yeah. I got out now will come up. Um, Whole rhythm. That's another tune that's popping off right now. Mm. Done a video for it the other day. I think it's getting premiered on BBC Two, October the second. It comes out October the fourth. So yeah, man, I'm doing a lot right now. Fair releases. All right, what's next, man? What is next for P Money? What well, right now? I'm just obviously I'm doing the videos, but I'm just concentrating on me and Black's CD. Looking mm. to release it probably like December. But right now we're just doing the videos. Like we just done an OG video, a tune that no one's even heard yet. It's mm. for OG season. What we thought, you know what? Let's just do a video clip. <laughs> Just to show people, man, serious this year. We've got to take the music to the next level. Wait, you, know you said OG season? Yeah. When's that coming out? Ah, I see. OG season, we ain't got to release it for it, but what people need to understand, it's not just the CD, it's actual season. So it's like, <laughs> it's like six months of ra non-stop radio, yeah. non-stop new tunes, CD, non-stop like raves that it's the actual season so man going in yeah the, the, the release date of the cd is not the only thing to look forward to you get me it's yeah. all gonna, from like december january it's gonna kick off all right i'm looking forward to that man like yeah, the first og cd that's a personal classic of mine i still buy that now yeah, trust me, man. good to know still yeah man good to know so i heard in one of your lyrics earlier on man you got like the labels are hollering yeah 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 man you get you get some nice interest yeah i got some, some all right interest <laughs> Alright, for an Aggie Graham MC, yeah, mm. I'm getting some alright interest, but it's good, because obviously if they're looking at me, they're looking at others, that's the way mm. everyone's got to see it, because there's a million people that do what I do, just not the same as me, but mm. you're still doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying, so if they're looking at me, they're obviously looking at other people, like, anyone around me, they're looking, at, they're looking, they're looking, but you have to put money into it to make it look worthy of mm. being, get me, mm. like, a label can't come to you and say, yeah, I'll give you 10 grand, or 20 grand or 30 grand and these times you ain't even spent a penny you ain't even spent a penny on your videos or nothing like that you ain't even put in a hundred pounds like, they don't it's not it don't look like it's worth that it don't look like it can yeah. sell it don't look like nothing so yeah. with these videos you see they are top quality man top quality proper edited everything like you'll see man it's, it's gonna be a very sick thing no that's good what i like about you is that you just stuck to the sound that hardcore sound yeah. i mean where did the slang like this did that get on a playlist or b playlist on uh, radio one i know it's getting it no, yeah i thought it was a b still yeah man it was getting a lot of play it's really that's like yeah. an important track for yeah. Yeah, people that, out yeah, there making yeah. like those electro yeah. tunes to break through See, like, i've always said like, i've always said like you ain't got a ch commercial music isn't a genre commercial music is what's selling isn't it mm. just buy the music make it commercial isn't it uh, like everyone saying oh yeah like electro or whatever i don't care about that i don't care about funky i don't care about all these other things because that wasn't about then no one was doing that then everyone just jumped on it mm. like look at dizzy like he's doing sick now but what did he start off with mm. he started off with i love you fam listen to that tune now like it's a grand tune fam mm. like, why do i need to change he didn't you know what i'm saying so just you know what it is it's just work fam do the work put your money in you get out fam. put your money out that's all it is if you got a fan base that likes your music, why can't you do it? You gotta change it because some guy in the suit says change your music. You're a waste man then, innit? Because you got some next man telling you what to do. Idiot thing man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you brother. Any, any last things? Um, yeah, just watch out for Whole Rhythm, October the 4th. Release, iTunes, Nationwide, everything. Watch out for the video, premiered. BBC2, October the 2nd. Watch out for me and Black CD, December. Watch out for, just watch out for the videos as well man. Alright. Yeah man. Alright, bless brother.